Hi everyone, I recently spent two amazing days in Muskoka at Raleigh Resort. Here's how it went. We're going up to our room. We are in an executive suite. Ooh, we have our living room, dining room, kitchen, TV, bedroom. We have a patio. Oh, with loungers! Oh, Yay! This is gonna be where we eat breakfast. With a beautiful look at Georgian Bay. We have a reservation for dinner out on the patio today. Very excited. Our package included breakfast and dinner, which is going to be fabulous. Otherwise, we'd have to cook, which uh, would have taken a little more energy. There's a gorgeous pool that we want to hop in later, and it looks like they're expanding their spa, which is definitely something I need to come back for. Here is the beautiful washroom with a jacuzzi tub, and then we have the rain shower. So nice. Time for some afternoon snack of red wine and charcuterie. Walked up onto the observatory portion of the hotel. It is so pretty. AKA the lighthouse. I know. It's a really nice view of the property and the water. There's a little waterfall. It's a great place to come and sit. It would be nice to have some ice cream up here. Gorgeous. Watch the sunset. It's time for dinner, so we are off to the patio. Thank you. Oh wow. This looks good. It is dinner time. We have our appetizers here. Our wings. Calamari times two. And then the delicious kale Caesar. Dinner is served. I had the chef special, which is lamb and risotto. Surrounded by carnivores, with the three steak dinner. It's breakfast time, and we just got a nice spread delivered to our room. Rest by the pool before heading to the winery. From Raleigh Resort, we visited the Muskoka Winery and tried some delicious varieties of wine made out of cranberries and blueberries. So all nine as we go, but we'll be sampling dry wine semi-sweet. We do have two dry wines. The first one is our Muskoka Red. Right now we are at the Cranberry Farm. That's part of the Muskoka Winery. It is so cool. Here is a spotting of the Bog Monster. Very scary. He actually originated at Toronto's Distillery District and now found his home here. And believe it or not, this is a marsh where all the cranberries grow and then in September it is flooded with water that comes in naturally. There is a lake and then they open the floodgate and it floods this area. All the cranberries rise to the top and then they scoop them out. This is how cranberries grow. Who would have known? I just got home looking a little bit rough from the day in the sun but I wanted to show you the most amazing gift basket that I made with all the stuff from the cranberry farm. I bought a bunch of the cranberry products, including one of the white cranberry wines, some crackers, all sorts of things, including also blueberry balsamic vinegar. And I put them all into this beautiful baking dish with a little tea towel on the bottom. I have one of the birch bark cards that they sold also at the farm. And honestly, is there a better gift idea here like this is so easy and really really cool all local stuff if you like seeing my muskoka trip make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this to come and book your next day at raleigh resort via the link below thanks so much for watching